Yeah, Con continue question point number 21. Yeah. 21, capital employed is equal to total assets minus current liability. 22, return on assets measures the earning per rupee of assets invested in the company. A high yes, ratio represents better the companies. Yes, 21.8. 21 is capital sir, employed is equal to total tot asset minus current uh, working capital. Total assets minus current liability. Um, no, no. The capital employed is what is the total assets minus current liability is equal to the cap balance is capital. That is not, Acha, you are asking whether it is working capital gap. Yes, yes. The working sorry. capital gap is only current assets minus current liability. Current assets, not total assets. Samaj gya? Yes. Hello, hello. Do, uh, total assets nahi hai. There it is current assets. Current assets minus current liability is the working capital gap. That is different. Don't confuse it. Yeah. Continue. 24. ROA. Uh, 23. 23. Please read 23. ROA is equal to net profit upon total assets. 24. Okay. Return on investment aka earning power ratio is a technique that is widely used to measure the return from an investment. ROI is a simple ratio of the gain from an investment relative to its cost. See, ROI look, is equal to look, net. ROI also called as earning power ratio. If in an interview somebody asks like this, you should not say I don't know. You must be able to tell the same answer. ROI or earning power ratio is equal to, please read. ROI is equal to net return on investment upon cost of investment into 100. Hmm. 26. But, the candidates, candidates, I know very well. Uh, all these things, understanding immediately will be difficult. So, again, after the class is over, immediately you should sit with a notebook and this material and go through step by step and try to uh, uh, say put it into your system yeah continue 26 uh, the roi calculation has net return rather than net profit or gain in the numerator this is because returns from an investment can often be negative instead of positive 27 the functioning of planning, scheduling, and controlling are essential for execution of a project. The project evaluation and, and review technique abbreviated as PRT or critical path method, abbreviated as CPM, helps the management in performing all these functions more efficiently. Please listen, listen. So what is PRT? No, no, no. no, no project no, no. evaluation and review technique. Yeah, yeah. And you know, you must use these catch words, key words. When you are asked a question regarding term loan, if you use a word like critical path method or project evaluation uh, uh, review technique, if you tell that, you they will be interested in asking what is PERT, what is CPM. So you must be able to tell about that also. Okay, continue. 28. 28. Uh, PRT or CPM is a method of budgeting and scheduling resource. Hmm. So as to? Resources so as to accomplish predetermined job. It provides a communication facility in the sense that it can report developments both favorable and unfavorable to managers and thus keep them posted and informed. Very good. One minute. 29. Ankur, Ankur where are you yes. now? Yes. Where are you staying? Uh, sir, currently I'm at home. I just came back from my library. Uh... <laughs> home bowl sir, are you asking about the place? Yeah, obviously. Otherwise, why should I <laughs> ask? <laughs> huh? Sorry, I thought uh, you are getting uh, sound no, from have... background. Back. Yeah, yeah, some sound is coming. What is that sound? Uh, actually, fan was on full speed, so that's why. Doesn't matter. 
if you want to have a fan you have it nothing wrong but uh, no sir i, I just no, no. switch on I, my I, seat no, 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 okay. i i imagine like this ankur is sitting in a very good scenic locality where the water is falling from the top <laughs> creating very good noise are bhai ye ladka itna acha i mean gifted ladka ho gaya aisa mai bhi soch rahe no sir nothing like that i am from maharashtra and i am from akola so temperature here is goes up to 48 something oi baba thank god <laughs> so it's impossible to you know, stay without you know, ac no no but one thing i tell you it is temperature also affects our reading you you become tired very quickly say yes, in, yes, a, yes. in a place like this where it is not hot i don't feel tired after one hour right. work two hours work also there is a problem continue now I, no no you need not switch off your fan I, i totally you just keep it small i mean one or two or three so that you also get some air okay yes sir yes sir Continue. I did that. Mm. 29. Uh, mm. Or CPM is based on simple concept called the network logic. The network is drawn taking into account the sequencing and interdependence of various activities that constitute the project. Such a network then becomes the basis for planning and controlling the project. Mm. Part or CPM is concerned with two concepts, event and activity. Mm. Uh, 31st an event is a specific up- accomplishment that occurs at a recognize- recognizable point in time an event is an accomplishment occurring at an instantaneous point in time but requiring none of the resources itself 32 32 an act activity is the work required to complete a specified event an activity is a recognizable part of a project that requires resources for its completion and it is defined by its beginning and ending events but even then i am not fully satisfied with the term loan like um, term loan appraisal i think other day we had some other material where we saw uh one minute india term loan appraisal methods how to appraise a term loan proposal <clears throat> yeah i think this is a better one <laughs> i am giving the link of this in our um newspaper i uh, many of you don't come to the newspaper it's a, you must come and see newspapers no no uh, whatever they have given there is nothing wrong everything is correct only but then um here you know what is it i was telling you yeah i have given you a link now that is given by bankingschool.co.in financial analysis term loan appraisal so apart from whatever we have studied if you are able to remember this maybe we can tell it correctly are baba this fellow has typed it in very small letters and also very light letters um neharika please read from this to start with sure, sir. to start with the following information shall be collected from prospective borrowers first what is the cost of the project and arrangements to meet the finance for completing the project second projected balance sheets and profit and loss statements up to the period till term loan repayment is completed third cash flow and fund flow estimates up to the period till term loan repayment is completed the appraisal of the project also covers the following details cost is commercial viability of the project line of business demand supply profit margin imports in exports list of important customers and suppliers the extent of competition costing and pricing mechanism of the product dependence on single and few customers or suppliers prevailing government 
policies, embargo, etc., are to be evaluated. Production arrangement, power, water, water supply, transport, infrastructure facilities like proximity to the source of raw materials, stores, and other production facilities, workforce, etc. The manager has to visit the place of the factory to see that the business exists at the address furnished and also to ascertain the infrastructure available and the level of activity and make a preliminary report on his or her visit, which includes an inspection report on crime and collateral security offered. The manager has to familiarize the borrower's business and form opinions about adequate labor strength, maintenance of the factory, go down, etc. Technical feasibility process should be contemporary. Proper layout of the factory, quality of the machinery, efficient disposal, availability of technical staff to run the factory. It should be seen if sufficient raw material, labor, and other utilities like power and water are available for the projected level of production. Fourth is market conditions and making and marketing arrangements, demand, supply, pricing, etc. After the completion of the project, installation of new machinery, name of the main buyers, names of major competitors, and their total market shares. Financial appraisal. Fifth, past financial statements like profit and loss accounts, balance sheets, the correlation between fixed assets and under undercharging of depreciation. Operating loss position, the contribution of other income to net profit, valuation of closing stock, borrowings, and interest cost, the extent of reserve created by revaluation of assets, unsecured loans so shown as quasi equity, movement of unsecured loans over the years, borrowers' stake in the business, investment in intangible assets, other non current assets, acceptability of projection and assumption considered for the assessment, profitability estimate solvency ratio that is ability to service outside liabilities like tol or tnw funded debt tnw etc liquidity position like networking capital and current ratio break even point and dscr calculation repayment plan the major problems concerning term finance are maturity mismatch funding risk and interest rate risk yeah i think this is very relevant this is very relevant this is how we have to answer in an interview where they ask you in a term loan how will you proceed normally they will not put you into difficulty by asking a big question like this that this question is a say question so they may ask the components of it for example um, what do you understand by uh, the first one commercial viability what do you understand by production arrangement? What is technical feasibility? Why market conditions are important for term loan? Then what are the financial appraisal we will do? This is what we studied in those three pages we studied. The point number five only. Now continue, Nikarika. The above aspects. The above aspects are to be carefully looked into while fixing loan amounts and repayment installments. The repayment of the term loan should be fixed after studying cash flow statements according to the cash accruals. The unit must be in a position to generate sufficient cash flows to serve the lo term loan installment and interest during the repayment period. Sixth is clearance from appropriate government agencies, consents, approvals, and environment clearance aspects. Seventh is non fund based facilities. Apart from the term loan, a project may also require non fund based facilities like deferred payment guarantee, co acceptance, buyer's credit, etc. Assessment of non fund based limits in such cases. Eighth is SWOT analysis, strength, weakness, opportunities, and threats. Ninth is oh. over invoicing in the case of this, term this loan is, proposal. See, they can even ask you what is SWOT analysis. That's all. That itself is one question. What are the non fund based facilities like that? They can ask you. Then clearance from appropriate government agencies. Oh, Baba, it's very important. Yeah, continue. Question point number nine Over invoicing in the case of term loan proposal to be guarded against. Inquiries about suppliers of machinery, 11th, the value of primary and collateral securities in relation to the amount of advance, 12th, balance sheets of group companies, firms to be analyzed if there is an investment of more than 10% in that company by the borrower or loan applicant, 13th, is debtors due from group companies or firms. Now, um, 
what is this over invoicing in the case of term loan what do you understand by that niharika can you explain over invoicing of over invoicing in the case of term loan proposal what do you understand by over invoicing acha it is like uh, this like, uh, yeah. tell me so sorry no idea no no actually it is in the case of term loans what happens before uh, sanctioning what we do we go through the total project what is the cost uh, to be incurred they would have given you the cost of land the cost of machinery the cost of the building etc etc while preparing that they will under overestimate that if the machinery is costing only 10 lakhs they would have prepared a uh, they would have got a pro forma invoice from the company for 15 lakhs so that the out of this money remitted to them 5 lakhs will be taken back by them from the supplier so that is known as over invoicing very good continue financial indicators all this is important please a uh, one minute mm, shubham you have a good internet with you shubham sir yes good sir. shubham good internet hi nahi hai. yes yes sir sir so you are from which city maharashtra sir pune oh pune baba pune means 